Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a nice, bright burst of sunlight to your images in Photoshop. So basically what we're going to do here is create a fake sun where in this shot here the sun was just out of frame over to the left here but you'll see the shadow falling down to the figures right there. So we're going to create a sun up here. For this technique to work generally you need to have a subject with space behind it like this here. So basically not a subject against a wall where there's no way that the sun is actually going to be coming into the corner of the shot. And then depending on the natural angle of the light, so for this shot here we're going to create the sun up in the left hand corner, but for other images you may find that you need to create this kind of fake sun anywhere along the top of the image from the middle to the right. So let's get started and the first thing that we need to do is go down to the adjustment layer icon which is a half white half black circle at the bottom of the layers panel and select gradient from the list of options. And then don't worry about what's happening here this isn't what we're going to be working with so just go straight to style and we're going to change that to radial so it creates a circular gradient which is more in keeping with creating a fake sun. Let's make it a touch larger so let's take the scale up to 200% and by doing it this way we get a really nice kind of graduated effect and now just left mouse click on the gradient itself up there and then double click on this little black box and we're going to change the color from black which incidentally is my foreground color that's why it's coming up but we can change that as we're doing now so just hit OK once you've got that and on the gradient editor hit OK before we close down gradient fill just left mouse click on that gradient and drag it into the relevant position and then hit OK. And just to finish off with this layer we just need to change the blending mode from normal to screen and screen is a light and blending mode and you'll see there we're starting a very early stage to kind of get where we want to go. I hope you can see what we're looking to achieve here. Okay, so on to step two, and we're gonna create another gradient. So go down to the adjustment layer icon and select gradient from the list of options. Again, we're gonna get exactly the same kind of black linear gradient. So let's change that to radial. I'm gonna leave the angle as it is, and this time we're gonna take the scale up to 120% and let's change the color so we'll click on the gradient there and then double click on this control point and this time we're going to go for a nice bright yellow so i think that's going to do the job so just hit ok on the color picker and also on the gradient editor but let's just keep gradient fill open for a moment so we can left mouse click and drag our gradient over to the left here and now let's just hit OK and change the blending mode again from normal to screen so there you'll see it's kind of nice and bright I would say that's probably a little bit too far over to the right so let's double click on that layer there again and just take that up into the corner and then just hit OK Okay, so next up we're gonna, this is our final gradient and it's gonna be a white one. So let's cut a step. I'm gonna hit X on the keyboard because white was my background color. If you want to set the default colors of black and white, just hit D on the keyboard. Then just use X if black is in the foreground to bring white into the foreground. And let's go down to the adjustment layer icon again. And there you'll see we have a white gradient, which as I say, it's gonna save us about 10 seconds or something. So we'll change that to radial as well. And for this one, I'm gonna take the scale down to 80. And then I'm gonna take that and just drop it right into the corner there. And then just hit OK. With gradient fill three selected there, I'm gonna hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then left mouse click and click on gradient fill one. So all of those gradients are selected. 
Then I'm going to hold down Control and G to group them. So double clicking on there, I can just rename it so I know what's in there. And let's just take the opacity of that layer group down to 80%. So there you'll see it's just refined the effect ever so slightly. And the next thing we're going to do is create an empty new layer. So hold down Control, Shift and N. And let's set the mode to overlay and then click on fill with overlay neutral color, 50% gray. We've just created a layer that is filled with 50% gray and the blending mode is changed to overlay so it makes it transparent. And what we're gonna do here is add some lens flare. So go up to filter and then render lens flare and my favorite for this effect is to use the 35 millimeter prime and what i'm going to do is just drag that bright point there up into the left hand corner so wherever you position your sun in the frame you've got to do a bit of guesswork to be honest but you can just get it roughly into the right position and i'm going to take the brightness up let's go up to 140 percent and i'm going to hit ok and that's going to apply it. So there, let's just switch that on and off. You'll see that's just adding to the effect and giving us a small amount of flare over here on the right. So you might be thinking, why have we bothered with these gradients here? So let me just switch those off. So without those gradients, it just doesn't look very realistic. It looks like a sun that has been generated in Photoshop. But by combining it with those gradients, we're actually getting something that's marginally closer to a real sun. It's never going to be precise, but it's not too bad. And now we're up to the final stage where if you're shooting into the sun and you're getting flare, you're going to get quite a lot of haze. So let's just create a levels adjustment layer. And I'm going to take the output level. So that's the black slider just below the main histogram. So I'm going to take that over to the right. So I'd say anywhere between 20 and 30 is going to be perfect. So let's let's actually go for an amount of 30. And what I'm also going to do is just lighten off the image ever so slightly. So let's take that midpoint slider over to the left, just a teeny amount. So there we've added our haze. And that is the overall effect. So what we could do now is group all of this together, call it sunburst, and that's before, and that's after. So we have created sunshine where there was none before. So that is how to add a bright burst of sunshine in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay up to date with new videos as they're released.